So let's look at paragraph five. We have considered cold air masses and warm air masses. And in addition to cold and warm fronts, weather maps also show areas of high and low pressure. Cold air masses are areas of high pressure due to the dense, heavy, cold air that forms them. And warm air masses are made up of less dense, lighter, warm air and are thus areas of low pressure. On a weather map, areas of high pressure are marked with an H and areas of low pressure are marked with an L. So let's just briefly take a look at a weather map and make sure we understand these symbols. So first of all, we may be interested in taking a look at symbols. Cold front symbol, warm front symbol, this is when we have them in color. I'm going to show you a, a weather map that doesn't have them in color. An occluded front, which we really haven't talked much about, but it's where a cold air mass will ride over a, a warmer air mass, or a warm air mass will ride over a colder air mass, and the, the fronts behave, the air masses behave a little differently. We have a stationary front where you have um, um, a red section, a blue section, a red section, a blue section, a trough, and then you can take a look at this. You can pause this and take a look at these symbols. But uh, let's move on to this weather map and take a look at this weather map. Basically, there's no color here, and so it's important for you to realize that um, even though you may be looking at weather maps that don't have color, what you want to look for would be these little triangular symbols, which would tell you that this is cold air because the triangular symbols indicate the front of a cold air mass. So this is a large area of, of cold air. And then you want to also look, and if you see these semicircles on a front, this would indicate a warm front, even though it's not in red. And sometimes we look at weather maps and they're in red, they're in color. And so we may see blue fronts and red fronts and that gives us a little better clue what we're looking at, but then other, other weather maps may only be in black and white or in different colors, and, and you need to understand that the fronts are clearly described by the symbols that are on the front. Triangles for a cold front showing which way the front is going, and semicircles for a warm front showing which way the front is going. So with your green colored pencil in hand, cold air masses are areas of high pressure. They have dense, heavy, cold air. Warm air masses are made of areas of low air pressure. Warm air masses are made up of less dense, lighter warm air, and are thus areas of low pressure. Your blue marker on a weather map. Areas of high pressure are marked with an H and areas of low pressure are marked with an L. So areas of warm air are marked with an L generally, and areas of cooler or cold air are gonna be marked with an H. Okay, make sure you have your paragraph marked, and we'll move on to the last paragraph.